Hello, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Uh, today we'll be doing uh, problem number one. Uh, important thing to know here is that we cannot subtract these two because they do not share the same number under the radical. And so a good thing to know before we actually start as well is our, our perfect squares. And so we have 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is to be 9, 4 squared is to be 16, 5 squared to be 25. We can go on so, so on and so forth, but I think this, this will work out for this problem. Now it's good to know that the square root follows through. So the square root of these numbers will follow the same way. So in other words, uh, starting from the first one, 1 is equal to the square root of 1. 2 is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. Mm, square root of 4. Uh, 3 is equal to the square root of 9. 4 is equal to the square root of 16. 5 is equal to the square root of 25. Now, we're going to have to break down these to see what we can find. So we can start with 24, and we can find what numbers multiply to 24. If we have 1 and 24, 2 and 12, so you got, got 3 and 8, and uh, 4 and 6. Now, looking at our list of perfect squares, we can see that we can find 4 here. And 4 is going to be a good breakdown for this. So we're going to have 7 times square root 4 and square root 6. Now, you see square root 6, does, six doesn't fall into one, of our, into one of our numbers here. So we can leave this as it is and bring it down. And now we know that square root of 4 is 2. So we have 7 times 2 square root 6 minus 3 square root 6. 7 times 2 is 14 square root 6 minus 3 square root 6. Now that they both have the same square root, we can subtract the coefficients they have. And so 11 minus, I mean 14 minus 3 gives us 11 square root 6. And that is our solution. Thank you.